Y'all, let me tell you, it was rough getting on camera today, honey. Be encouraged. My roots can get thick, okay? We don't do that. This part with this part. Middle part, right part, show enough right part. We want both sides to be equally ignorant. It's gonna look good, cuz. Twist, 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 twist. Hey. Twist, 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 twist. When you have bands in your hair for so long, they get so weak. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, cousins? It's your girl, Mary Kay, coming to you with a detailed slay today. Y'all, let me tell you. Ooh, child, it was rough getting on camera today, honey. The woman in me is just roaring right now. Ooh, Lord. All morning, just, just trying and trying, y'all. Ooh, cousins, y'all y'all, with me on this? Okay, I just had to throw that preface out there because your cousin is struggling today, honey. Ooh, why we gotta go through this? every month but you know you you got to encourage yourself i'm trying to keep myself hype y'all i'm trying to be be encouraged no matter what's going on oh, i know he make making all right but i'm trying to stay strong be 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 you know they be singing on the hold on hold on hold on first thing i gotta do is show love to my subscriber of the day come on mary get it together Damn. you the bomb make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not already done so join the family join the fun let me have a little sip of water that i'm sure i'm going to retain so okay y'all today we are doing a slay y'all my hair is so ignorant right now it really is i have just been letting it do its own thing up under these wigs and stuff my hair has been chilling satisfied and laid to the side okay my hair has been like yes yes queen yes Yes! Oh my gosh, yes, honey. It feels good, it feels good, it feels good. So I am going to, mm, you know when you have bands in your hair for so long, they get so weak. The bands start popping through your braids. I can't explain. The bands will snap, crackle, and pop right on your neck. Right on that neck. We are doing a butterfly lock insta. And of course we are using my favorite individual illusion braid pattern. There's so many different braid patterns that you can do. It just depends on what you want your ending style to be. That's the most important thing. I'm going for a show enough right part. Okay, so there are some things we need to do. Eight packs of their lovely Nalatress butterfly lock. These are their butterfly, butterflies in the sky. I have a strong hairline. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Y'all, my allergies bother me so much. I have allergies all year, so these suckers be sounding like eat with Q. Hello. <laughs> That's how my allergies be. <laughs> Honey, my allergies are here. They exist. Last time I did the color 30, so this time I'm just straight 1B. We're gonna make these look super natural. This is how you get a very natural butterfly lock look. That's what we going for today, okay? as close to my natural hair color as possible. Cause y'all know I put gold hair in my head if I want to. Huh? These are 24 inches. They do have other lengths. So do not fret if 24 inches is too long for your hair palette. They're so pretty. I love the distress pattern. They have a very specific distress pattern. And it's so pretty. They're not, you know, super large, but they're not tiny. There are 10 of these per pack. I have eight packs. So in all, I have 80 locks. So let's jump into this braid pattern. The way that you construct your braid pattern has everything to do with what you want your style to look like. Y'all, these roots, honey. These roots, honey. Woo! These roots, honey. We got some hair growth going on in these roots, honey. I may have fine natural hair, bro, but my roots can get thick. We can get thick on you, you feel me? This right here is the right part. Off to the right of your middle part. This right here is a show enough right part. Middle part. Right part, show enough right part. We're doing the show enough right part, okay? Show enough, bam. 
We got to make sure that that line is crisp and we ain't taking no risk. Okay. The way that you do that is, come on, focus. Hello. There you go. Y'all be, do y'all still use softy? And I'm just going to get it popping on a big section. Go off of what you know, you feel me? Once I get the part pretty much how I want it to go, I'm gonna take a little bit of edge control. You know that you know that you know. This stuff is just, it's God's giving. God gave us this, our Connie Coil Care. And you just can't beat God's giving, honey. No matter how you try. Huh? I'ma just go on both sides of the part just to keep the little bitty hairs from messing up the groove. You know what I'm saying? We don't want it to mess up the groove because the little hairs will do that. Now I'm not going to braid right up to the very wee front of my hairline, y'all. We want we, 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 we want to keep edges. Like I've told y'all before, we're not out here donating edges. No, we donate our time. We donate our wisdom. We donate resources. Come on, church. But what we do not donate is edges. Okay, we don't do that. Because these are not big, they're not small, our individual illusion boxes can be, you know, a nice average size, right? We want to put as much hair as we can on this side to make it look like it go with this side. Is they got to fit. They got to go together, okay? And they got to be happy too. They can't just go together and just be ignorant. Can't just be together, okay? I'm going to start here. I'm just going to make a part around my ear, right around my ear. Hopefully I can see that it curves around the ear. I didn't bring it down like this. That is for spacing purposes. If you are a braider and you know how to space your parts and stuff, then you don't have to do this. This is just the only way that I know how to do it to where my braids line up in the back. We're gonna take a little bit of the edge control and we're just gonna go down, down, down. Now it eventually will turn into a cornrow if you know how to cornrow. If not, you're going to do the illusion boxes all the way back. Clean up your part if you need to. Now that you have that edge control on there to kind of hold the little hairs in place, this box needs to be a nice good size. Slide it on down. You don't have to go down the whole way, but if you choose to, make sure you do not braid the whole way. Make sure that you twist once you get to the end. If you don't, sis, what's gonna happen? You gonna get what, huh? Right, you gonna get knots. It's looking like that right there. Okay, now you're going to continue to do that. On this first braid, I'm probably just gonna do two of those before I, you know, shoot into the cornrow. So I'm gonna create another box that same size. See that? Yeah, I'm trying to look and see and show y'all at the same time. This is some, whew. Now, what you're going to do, all you have to do is combine this part with this part. So your new section, your new box, you're gonna split that into two for two parts of your three part braid. The first plait that you did is going to be the third part. So you just join them all together. See, join them all together and you plait just like you did the first one. Make sure that your base is good and sturdy before you start moving down the plait, honey, because that first plait can slide out. You don't want that to happen. You see, I'm two strand twisting. Now what I'm going to do is pretty much the same thing in theory, but not really. I'm gonna take this end that we just created and just bring it in to this and cornrow it into the leftover hair. Take this plait, if you do not know how to do this, what we just did with the first and second plait, you just continue to do. But now I, I'm not a braider, so don't judge my braiding. If you need help learning how to braid, tune into Beauty Can Braid. If you need to learn how to braid, don't listen to me, okay? I'm just going around this ear. I hope this is okay for you guys. Just going around this ear. Now I'm starting to twist. Now, bam, I just let that do its thing. That's literally what we're gonna do all the way across. I'm gonna take a little bit of the edge control, swoop this up. Now you don't have to use the edge control, y'all. This is just when you want your braid pattern to look 
When you want it to look sharp, but you don't want to braid tight. And it's all right, because I don't braid tight either. I probably end up having one, two, three, four cornrows on this side and a gang of them on the other side. That's why we have to do things differently on this side. This side is going to be packed all the way down to the nape. And I, y'all, oh Lord, I'm going too far wide. Don't go too far wide just yet, y'all. Still kind of curve it, just like we did the first braid. but you can come down a little bit. Y'all, the back be ignorant. Now nah, y'all know that. Still follow the curve of this first cornrow because what we're trying not to do is take so much hair from down here because once we get to the middle and the other side, we still need hair down here to grab onto. Something like that. I can't see the back, so, hey. Edge control. Ooh, child, you know how you just move wrong and the woman in you is just like, oh, have you forgotten? I'm here, hello. And you be trying to work through it because we superwoman, right? And we don't let nothing stop us. And sometimes it almost do be stopping. I, I, I stop sometimes too. I ain't gonna, I ain't not gonna lie to you. Today I decided to push through. Actually, my husband hyped me up to do it. He's like, you can do it, babe. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing. A nice size box for this first one because we don't want no little bitty box. Now, keep some of your edge out, honey. You don't have to include that in this plait. You know that, don't you? And a matter of fact, it's gonna look so much better if you don't. It's gonna look so much more natural. It's okay if it look frizzy around there. It's okay, it's gonna look good, trust me. It's gonna look good. You want it to look good, it's gonna look good, sis. It's gonna look good, cuz. Let's hit this second box. Let's hit this second box. Hey, hey. We're gonna split this box into two. The third piece of the plait is going to be the plait we just created. We're gonna bring it on back. Bring it back, bring it back, bring it back. That's not the words they definitely said. Bring them out, bring them out. That's all right. Now I'm gonna start to move down because my root is secure. You see, I, I gave a few rotations before I started to move down into this plait because I don't want my first plait to slide. Electric slide. You can see it. I mean, you can see it. This end that we have, I'm just going to bring it into the cornrow. The end of the plait that we just created and then the remainder of the hair. Now you guys, if you have other methods and ways to do this, by all means, honey, I am not the say all, do all, know all, tell all. I just know what I do to it all. And that's what I'm telling y'all. Now, what I'm gonna do is, you see this first one? This first end, I'm finna bring it into this second cornrow. Okay, bam, the less ends that you have, the better for some reason, less to deal with. So now we still just have one end because I brought that first one into this second one that we are creating. Now I'm about to start twisting. My fingers agreed with this moment to twist. I'm about to do these next two. Y'all got this, okay? Do these next two before we jump on this side, okay? Okay, okay. Y'all got this, girl. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go, hey, here you go, 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 hey, get it girl, get it girl, you got it, ah! <laughs> Okay y'all, so I just wanna make a couple mentions before we go on to this side. These invisible boxes are smaller than these are gonna be over here. I want more pieces to be placed on this side to kinda circumvent the fact that there's a lot more hair on this side, okay? This cornrow right here is going to match this side. So this cornrow, the invisible boxes will be small like this one because that's what my part's gonna be and you want the opposite size of the part to match. Beyond this first cornrow, the boxes are going to be a lot larger because we want to put less hair. So there's already going to be more butterfly locks on this side. We don't want it to be overbearingly more. I have one end, I just connected everything. This third cornrow for spacing, I stopped it right here. And then when I did the final cornrow, I just grabbed this end from right here and then connected it on down and then connected this to this. Okay, flat this up. See, y'all are already experts at this point, so I really don't have to go through it too slowly at this point, cause y'all know what y'all doing out here in these streets. Ain't nobody finna tell y'all, y'all don't know what y'all, ain't. ain't nobody finna tell y'all that sis, nobody. Bam, we're gonna connect this first plait to the second plait. That's gonna be the third piece of that plait. Bam, get a nice base before you start moving down. 
I'm still rotating, still rotating, still rotating. Now I'm gonna start moving down. You feel me? Now I'm doing the same thing we did on the, the first side. Just coming right around this ear. I'm not even, this first one doesn't even go to the back of the neck. Same as the first side. Twist, 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 twist. Now we're going to do the same thing we did over this side, but we're just gonna make our boxes a little bit bigger. Cause we don't want this side to be ignorant as compared to this side. We want both sides to be equally ignorant. Right in the middle of that box, all illusion boxes, the base of it must be in the middle of the box. Not to the left side, not to the right side, not to the back side, not to the front side, but right off in the middle. Okay, bam, I don't even need to go any further on that. Nice size box. And just like over here, I just did two on the second corn row. I'm just gonna do two over here. Split this in half, bring this first plait back to this new illusion box. Stay right in the middle of the box. Don't move it. Stay right there. Get your base secure. Securing, 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 securing. Now, I can move on down. Bam. And don't worry, once you get to the end of your installation, if you wanna add pieces in, for whatever reason, if you want more volume, whatever, there's already gonna be a lot of volume on this side because there's more hair, but if you want even more ignite volume, you can always install a a butterfly lock on the little connector piece. You do have that option, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be thick than a mug on this side. It's gonna be right on this side. You already just naturally. Now I'm going to connect this to the rest of the hair and cornrow style. Come on in the room, come on in the room. Give me all of my scripture. I connected the first cornrow into the second cornrow, just like on the first side, you guys. I don't want you guys to fret. I'm doing the same exact thing. I'm just doing it bigger. Twist, 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 twist. Hey. Twist, 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 twist. Okay, bam. See, much larger than over here. This is the algebra of it. People don't people don't realize. I'm just getting the hairs out of the way with the edge control. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side and then come back and let you see the final braid pattern, okay? Hold on. All right, y'all, so I am done with the braid pattern. Here is where we are. Nice and small boxes, chunky boxes. Small boxes, chunky boxes. You see? Now, what I do, my hair is still you know, relatively short, so I can still take a band, a rubber band, and just, you know, Band my ends, like so. Bam. If your hair is longer, take a crochet hook, grab your ends, crochet through one of the cornrows. Make sure you come down low enough, honey. If your hair is not that long, don't be trying to cornrow away up here, honey, if it don't reach. Start down here at the bottom. Bam. Close the latch hook. Pull your ends through, like so. Do it again. I didn't even get all my ends. One end was left out, so I'm gonna go through. Crochet it through, bam, now it's with its family. On the same corn row, go up a little bit. Bam, grab these ends, close the hook, bam. See that? As long as your hair is, you just keep going up, 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 up until all of your ends are hidden in the corn row. Bam, that's how you take care of it if your ends are long, hey. Okay, here's my braid pattern, you guys. Just check it out. There are a couple places where I had to stop, you know, like right here, I had to stop right here, but then I grabbed it on the next one. I joined it with the next one and kept it going. I think I did that over here one time too. Yep, this one right here, stop right here. But then on this corn row, I combined that one, took it on down. Why is this, is my, is this drooping? Honey, my mic just is lost and turned out. I'm just gonna give you close-ups of the pattern so you can just mimic it if you want to, okay? Now for the fun part. We get to install these lovely Janet Collection butterfly locks. Now, this part is super easy. Each individual box will have one lock. Okay, the cornrows, we're gonna pack this side back to back. On this side, we're going to at least do one finger width apart. That goes back to spacing so that this side is not overbearingly large to this side, okay? I'm gonna find this first nugget right here, my first little box. I'm going to direct the hook down. Bam. I want y'all to look at something. Look at this little loop. So what you gonna do is, because for butterfly locks, you do not 
you want to be very careful when you are looping so that you don't disturb this beautiful butterfly lock pattern. I've showed you guys this before. I'm going to show you again what you do. This little bit of hair right here, you pull it down some. You just pull it down a little bit. That way you can stretch this loop open a little bit more. Now that's going to elongate. See? See what that loop looks like now? And it's so much easier. It's going to be so much easier. Depending on how much you adjust, it's going to elongate your lock. So now you put this loop on the, on the latch hook. Close that hook. Okay? It will hurt if you don't and you try to pull this through like so. Bam! It's through. Take this out. Take the end of the butterfly lock. Grab it with your forefinger and your thumb. Ease the lock through so that way you're not disturbing that beautiful distressed pattern that's it huh you guys asked me to show you the back and then everything else i can do i think i can do off camera because i've showed you but the back is just like the front i'm gonna just show you a couple in the back i've made my loop all nice and juicy i hope i'm focused i cannot see i'm just gonna choose one back here same scenario you go down take your loop place it on the hook of your crochet needle close that latch bring it on through put your forefinger and your thumb in the loop so that you may grab the end of the butterfly lock pull it through bam that's it that's it i'm gonna do one more one finger with the part this piece is right here so i'm gonna put one finger right here this is where my next piece goes one finger with the part bam bam close pull forefinger thumb through Grab this in like so. Come on, hook now. The hook want to mess up my whole little... Bam. That's it. I'm going to show you one more thing. If you feel like there's space that you can see, just say if you can see this space right here. All you would do, this is a question I frequently get. You can pack it in a way to where you don't see that space. But if you want to kind of close that up, there are two things that you can do. You can take your latch hook go under one braid go under the second braid now put your piece on close the latch hook pull through both braids put your forefinger and your thumb through grab the end pull it through as you do that it will bring these two braids together as so in butterfly lock matrimony see how that did that it closed that up or you can take pieces of the butterfly lock and just crochet the hair on the sides of the cornrow and it will close that space up. So put a piece here, 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 and it will close that space up in there. All right, I'm going to finish this and then I'll be right back. Yeah. 